Hey guys, this is Jedwi with DOS Jamming, and today we're going to be looking at the Mordex Data Multifunction Module. To call it a simple oscilloscope is an understatement. Not only is it a beautiful addition to any system, but it has a lot of features that you won't find in any other module. The top four jacks are inputs, which can accept positive and negative 10 volt signals. The bottom four are buffered through jacks, which take the signal from the input and sends it back out. To the far right, we have four output jacks that can produce positive 10 volt to negative 5 volt of audio, CV, trigger, and gate signals. On the top of the screen, we have four buttons that help us navigate the menus. The bottom four buttons correspond to the four channels. A menu button that automatically takes us to the home screen, and a push encoder which is also used to navigate the settings. When you turn your system on, you're greeted with the menu screen. We're going to select the oscilloscope by pressing the encoder. I have both rings and plong going into the magneto. I'm going to plug the left output of the magneto into channel 1, and the right output into channel 2. Then I'm going to take those buffered outputs and send them into my mixer. Then I'll press play on my sequencer. On the data, we can see a visualization of channel 1. To see other channels, we need to turn them on. Click on one of the four buttons corresponding to channels 1 through 4 and scroll down to the last setting, which is visuals. Turn that on. Now we can see our two sound waves, but they're overlapping each other. That's fine if you want it that way, but you can also change the position of each wave. Click again to confirm. We can also choose the scale. To the top left, we can access the cursor, which allows for more precise measurements and allows us to create custom visual thresholds. The button next to it controls our trigger level and threshold depending on its setting. Next to that is time, which displays the scope's current horizontal resolution. And the last button is Run, which stops our oscilloscope data in place. The button all the way to the right takes us back to our startup menu. Let's take a look at the Spectrum Analyzer. In here, we will find an infinite set of sine waves which move at various amplitudes and frequencies. In other words, a frequency spectrum. This feature allows us to see the harmonic content. It displays the signal as a bar graph, which each bar representing a small frequency range. When there's great magnitude of the frequency band in the signal, the bar gets higher and the color gets lighter. There's also a spectrograph, which works similar to the spectrum analyzer, the difference being that the spectrum analyzer shows the output of the Fourier transformer, and the spectrograph shows multiple FFTs. We can also run and stop in this mode to get a closer look at the analysis. On to the tuner. For the tuner to work, you need to make sure that the data is receiving a steady sound source. I'm going to unplug my modules and bring in the Dreadbox Oscillator Square Wave. Now I can tune my oscillator. You can tune up to four channels at a time, just make sure to turn them on. We can also choose to normalize. Thanks to a software update, the wave output oscillators have been improved with a much higher resolution. I'm going straight from output 1 into the data's input.
we have triangle, saw, square, and sine waves. We can choose the amplitude. the phase, and the offset. Output 2 is our second audio source and is displayed right below the first. To the right, we can choose our wave tune and shape. CV controls our frequency and DVCA. Another cool thing about the Mordex data is that it can be a master clock divider. When in clock output mode, the outputs become clock outputs. I'm sending the first one into my Variegate 4 Plus clock in. To change your tempo, press the first button and adjust accordingly. We can also set our clock to external if desired. And last but not least, the voltage monitor. With the voltage monitor, we can clearly see our four output channels. We can set a different output for each channel. So now you have your Mordex data set up how you want it. You can now save these settings. You can save up to eight different setting configurations on the data. In this menu, you can also update the software and perform a system calibration. So that is the Mordex Data Utility Tool. Sort of some eye candy for your Eurorack system. Great to see what's going on while you turn your knobs, apply filters, change ways, and any other changes you make. It's a great tool for learning and knowing what's going on and how you're affecting sound. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and support our sister on Patreon for more tutorials and reviews. Catch you later.